Async and await have massively changed the way we code, but any abstraction comes at a price. Hey YouTube, what's going on? In today's video, I'm keeping my promise. Task versus value task was a great video on performance, and in that video, I skipped the explanation of how async and await do the magic. I just mentioned the keyword async state machine, and you asked me in the comments to make a video for a state machine. So let's do this. There are a couple of concepts involved in async state machine, so I'm breaking this down into two or three part videos, depending on how much you like these videos and want me to talk more on the subject. In the part one, which is this video, we will talk about the awaitable and awaiter pattern, which is our entry point to the async state machine's discussion, and we understand what can be awaited and what is a task awaiter. Then we'll develop a custom task evader, but the state machine itself will be discussed in the part 2. So if you don't want to miss that video, you know what to do. The content of this video is at advanced level and a good knowledge of c is required. Enough talking, let's get our hands dirty. Okay, let's begin with a simple but similar example. How does a forish statement work? An object can be used in a forish statement if and only if it has a particular method. That method is get enumerator. Here we have a get enumerator on this class. So an instance of this class can sit in a forish statement. But this is not enough. What is an enumerator? An enumerator is a class that implements these three properties and methods. By the way, I have not implemented them. All of them are throwing a not implemented exception, as you can see here. Yes, this throws exception at runtime because they are not implemented. But C# -Shop compiler only looks for these properties and methods. If you implement them, everything works fine. As you can see here, we don't have any compile time error. .NET includes interfaces for these properties and methods. I enumerable from system.collection and I enumerator. If we change this to I enumerator and we use this implementation here, everything works fine. So I just wanted to mention c -sharp compiler only looks for these methods and properties, not the interfaces. I'll tell you why in a moment. Now let's get back to awaitable and awaiter pattern. Only awaitable objects can come after the await keyword, like tasks. But what is special about tasks that can come after await? Let's see. Let's use task that delay here, which delays the current thread for like one second. And if we put a dot here, we can see a special method, get a waiter. This is exactly like get enumerator. Get a waiter returns a task waiter, which we are going to discuss extensively in this video. So any object that has the get a waiter method can come after the await keyword. So let's play with this. Let's change this with time span. We await for one second. Now, what if we want to await a time span, not a task that delay? Let's copy this over here. And remove the task that delay. But we cannot do this because the time span class has not any method that is named get a waiter. So what can we do? We did not develop the time span class. It was Microsoft who did this. So we can't add a method to that class. But there is another way. We can use extension methods of C sharp. Let's do that. Let's go here and 
create a class which is a static and then add a method to it which is also static this method has to return task a waiter and its name must be get a waiter it should receive a time span inside of this method we want to return the task evator of the task.delay method so let's do this return task.delay passing time span to it dot get evator now this compiles so we can evade time spans this is exactly equal to this one and that's the reason why we don't have interfaces for awaitable objects because now that we don't need interfaces we can use extension methods and that's the job of the compiler to find a get awaiter method let's go further let's close this and here we want to await for two seconds we do the same thing let's close this open this one and public static we return a task evator the name should be get evator we get an integer here and we return task dot delay time span dot from seconds dot get a waiter now we can await integers like this until this moment we were using pre-made task evators from task dot delay but what if we want to create our own task evators there are two main approaches for this one is to create a task completion source and by using it we can control the task evator the second approach is to create our very own task evators let's start with task completion source let's say we want to evade a process normally we cannot do this because a process does not have a get evator method here we want to evade this process until the process exits what can we do let's see how this is implemented as you can see we have added another extension method here for the process but this time the task evator is a generic one with the type of integer the generic type parameter of the task evator indicates the result of the task so if your task returns something you must indicate it here in task evator first step is to create a task completion source of the same type that you indicated for the task evator here we are saying to the process to raise events whenever the process exits we call the try set result on the task completion source this way we can set the result of the task immediately after we check if the process has already exited and we set the result we do this because sometimes the event is already fired and we don't know about that we are going to use this approach in the next video extensively so remember why we are doing this and finally we get the task and we return the evator of the task from the task completion source this way we can await a process there are also other methods on the task completion source for example try set cancelled whenever it is cancelled or try set exception whenever the task throws exception so with the task completion source we can do anything we want but what if we want to go further and create our own custom task evator so let's close these and open this one i have created a class called omigo this is representing you it has a boolean property is subscribed which indicates that you are subscribed to the channel or not and it has a private watch video async method in this method we are awaiting for a few seconds 
which is simulating watching a video. After that, we like the video. And if we are not subscribed to the channel, we subscribe to the channel. Let's say we want to await Amigo like this. Let's create an Amigo here. And await Amigo. First of all, we know that awaitable objects must have a get awaiter method. So let's add it. And since this is our own class, we can add it inside of it. No need for extension methods. We should return task awaiter. Let's include it from system.runtime.compiler services. Get awaiter. And here we should return an awaiter. But now, this time, we want to create our own task awaiter. We go and create a class. I call it Amigo Awaiter. Let's get the Amigo from the constructor. Okay, what is an awaiter? An awaiter object must implement I notify completion and optionally I critical notify completion. The I critical notify completion implements I notify completion. But the difference is it doesn't have to propagate execution context. The execution context is the subject for the part 3 and I will create a video for that if you support these videos by liking and subscribing. But this one is optional. So let's implement the I notify completion. It has an uncompleted method and it passes a continuation action to us. The await keyword waits until the moment the continuation is called. But when do we want to call it? Here we want to call amigo dot watch video async and we want to keep its task so let's do it to private read only task a task and we keep it here in the uncompleted method we want to do this task dot continue with continuation but this is not all of it any awaiter object must have two other things a property of type boolean with the name of is completed and it must have a getter and inside of the getter we want to return task that is completed you can do whatever you want to do and another method which is public void here but not always I'll tell you why get result so you want to return the result of the task here inside of this example you are not returning anything but if your task returns an integer you must specify an integer instead of void here I want to return task dot get evator dot get result and since it's void we don't have any problem here now let's change this to amigo evator and return new amigo evator passing this now this compiles without any errors and we can test it let's test this code let's start the application and drag this pointer to this point we go to the next statement in this statement we must wait for 5 seconds 
let's do it as you can see I started watching video five seconds later finished watching like the video and subscribe to the channel now let's see the final example and then we are done in this example we are going to download a list of URLs so we say urls.select and we pass a method to it which accepts a URL and returns a task so here we have an i enumerable of tasks normally we cannot await them but here we are doing it how let's see here we have an extension method for the i enumerable of tasks inside of it we are returning a custom task awaiter let's see that one this is accepting an i enumerable of tasks inside the constructor we are using task.venall which waits for these tasks to complete by creating a new task here we are getting the awaiter of that task and we are storing it in a field for the get result we get the result of that awaiter for is completed we get the is completed of that awaiter and finally we use the uncompleted method of that task awaiter and we pass it the continuation so this task awaiter finishes working when this continuation is called this is all we have to do to create an awaitable of i enumerables if you enjoyed this video and learned something new please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also don't forget to enable the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new video arrives until next time adios amigos